see this is a visible line this is the hidden line please suppose you have to draw a hidden line okay because your uh, your drawing is just two dimensional okay you will draw the uh, the 3d view or 3d object the projection of 3d object obviously you have to draw some hidden line okay we will not uh, sort directly to the um, from the front a different side okay so you have to draw the hidden line so hidden line or this is called the that dashed line okay then after uh, then after the center line okay like a center of a circle or center of a rectangle you you have to draw the center line so this so this type of line is called center line this is called the hidden line if you will draw the hidden line then you can draw the this type of dotted line okay visible line is full uh, thick line okay continuous thick line then after the extension line so you can see visible line. you can see this is the border line in border line you have to you have to draw the border line so you have to draw border line in the form of thick line or uh, or, or visible line okay suppose you want to draw the hidden line like this dotted line okay then you have to draw this type of dashed line then center line you, you can see this is a circle circle means this is the one one cross section of the uh, like a cylinder or uh, like a hollow cylinder or ring okay so when you will draw the uh, central line you have to draw like this one long line then after one short line then long then short okay so this is called the central line extension line what is the use of extension line you can see suppose from this part from this point to this point suppose the length is 20 mm and you have to show the dimension from this point to this point obviously you have to draw two parallel line uh, two parallel line or this is called the extension line okay after that you can draw one perpendicular line to this extension line then you have to write either 20 cm or 30 cm actually actually uh, you have to uh, every every dimension so be mm you can see uh, this is the, uh, this line is called dimension line like this okay this is a continuous thin line not thick line see this is the difference between a visible line means thick line and a thin line actually thick line is used only for the border line or visible surface visible part wait one minute some students are waiting uh, some students are waiting mr manish kumar okay okay so uh, this is the, uh, so this line is called extensional line so extensional line and dimensional line both will be drawn from uh, with the help of single uh, with the help of two edge pencil okay so two edge uh, with the help of two edge pencil we will draw, uh, you can draw the continuous thin line not thick line okay similarly you can see the cutting plane when you will draw the planes uh, actually uh, your your uh, drawing sheet is two dimensional okay and you have to draw the different plane means suppose a uh, uh, vertical plane or horizontal plane so you have to draw like this this is symbol of cutting plane okay then after the section line section line means like this you have to sketch it like so this line is called the section line means so this is the first section or this is the second section okay then adjustment part or alternate position or repeated line like this the so one uh, uh, one addition line this is called the log break line okay wait wait one minute Uh, okay, so this is the long. Uh, this is the uh, yeah, the long break line. So what is the long break line? What is the what is the use of uh, what is the use of long break line? So long break lines are used uh, when it is desirable to shorten the view of the long part. When uh, you, um, you have to suppose when you will view a long part. Okay. 
and you have to draw on it in a certain way. Then after you, you have to use this type of line. Okay. That is, that is called the long break line. Similarly, what is the extension line? Can you tell me what is the use of extension line? Actually, extension line, see, extension line or dimensional line, both are called the step line. Extension line, this, is, this part is called extension line, this line is called extension line, and this line is called dimension line. So, extension line and dimension line are used when the dimensioning of an object. I mean, suppose you have to see a dimension or add a 20 centimeter or 30 centimeter or 10, 10 centimeter. Okay. So, this is the, uh, the, the dimension line or extension line. And can you see what is the use of center line? Why you will draw the center line? When you will see, you can see in this diagram and uh, this line, this line is called center line. What is the use of center line? Why you will draw the center line? Actually, center line are used to show the center of hole number one and symmetrical object. Symmetrical object means uh, suppose this is a center line, this is a vertical center line, this is central line. Obviously, the left part and the right part are symmetrical. Okay. Or suppose this is a center, this is the horizontal center line. Okay. This is a horizontal center line. The upper part, upper part and lower part are symmetrical. So center line are used to go the center of a hole as well as the symmetrical object. Then what is the use of hidden line? What is the use of hidden line? The hidden line means uh, obviously for a hidden, uh, hidden, hidden line is used for the hidden object. Right? So hidden object line is used to show the surfaces. Suppose the surface when you will see a when you will see uh, a cylinder, when cylinder is placed on the table, and when you will see from the top surface, obviously for your view, the bottom part is invisible. Okay, you can all, uh, you will only uh, see the upper part is front part of the cylinder. Okay, so that bottom part or hidden parts, when you will uh, draw on your drawing sheet, then you have to use the hidden line. That's why the hidden object line is used to show the surfaces. Or like the edge, edge or corner. Suppose uh, when you will see a rectangular face from one side, obviously the other step, other uh, 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 other part of the corner, you, you will not able to see. Okay, means if for your view, the uh, bottom part or from uh, bottom part or right side or the back side part is invisible for your view. Okay, so for that purpose, you will, when you will draw that figure on your drawing sheet, you have to use the hidden line. Okay, similarly, short break line you can see in this diagram. Yeah. In this diagram, there. you see the short, uh, short break line. So, what is the short break line? Actually, short break line or long break line, almost both are same. Actually, long break lines are used when it is desirable to shorten the view of a long part. And similarly, short break line uh, lines are used when they are able to uh, enlargement in the view of a shorter part. Okay. So, uh, when the section line, you can see in here, this part is called the section line. So the section line is used to indicate the surface in the section. See, the whole part is a surface. Okay, so in this surface, you have to draw only this part. Okay, so the section line, so this type of line is used to indicate the surface in the sectional view. Imagine you have been cut along the cutting plane line. Okay, it means that suppose when uh, when a cylinder is placed on your uh, on a table and when you will cut horizontally uh, horizontally in middle part of the cylinder okay face or uh, face of the cutting surface then you will draw the figure of that surface you have to use the uh, sectional line 
Okay. Understand? What is the use of section line? Suppose a cylinder is placed. Uh, suppose a cylinder is placed on the table. Okay. The cylinder is placed on the table, and when we will cut the cylinder in bit in middle of the uh, cylinder uh, in horizontal. Okay. After the cutting, uh, after the cutting of cylinder, the surface of the cutting part. Then you will draw the picture of that uh, cutting surface. So with the help of cutting plane uh, or cutting or section line, you have to draw the see the cutting section. Okay. So these are the various types of lines. So uh, in a in a yeah. So this is the uh, your border line. When you will draw the border line, or the three digit continuous thick line. Okay. So you have to you uh, you have to take uh, 20 mm um, margin from the left side, 10 mm margin from the top surface, 10 mm margin from the right uh, from the bottom surface, and 10 mm margin from the right surface. Uh, yes, from the right side. Okay. And you have to put like a dimension like this. 20. Only you have to write 20, not 20 mm or 20 cm or. Maybe you have to you have to write the uh, middle of the uh, yeah. Yeah, bottom part, the yeah, bottom side. You have to write uh, all dimensions are in mm. What does it mean? In every uh, in every dimension, you have uh, that that should be in millimeter. Okay. Only you have to write just 10, 10 or 20 or 65 or 185. It means that that should be in mm. Okay, for um, uh, so uh, for a type now that comes on the title block. Okay, so there are various patterns uh, to draw the title block. Okay, so 185 is to 65 or 160 is to uh, 160 is to 65 as well as 170 is to 85. Okay. First, but you should uh, follow only one only one pattern. Okay, so it may be because in your batch consists of F1, F2, F3. Okay, it may be uh, for F1 batch, uh, the um, uh, your batch will follow like uh, uh, 185 to 65. Uh, for the second batch, it may follow the 165 to 85 or 170 to 65. Okay, there are various uh, patterns are available for title block. But when you will follow the first in the first sheet, like uh, in, in the first sheet, uh, the title block dimension is 185 to 65, then you should uh, uh, th then you have to follow each and every uh, sheet 185 to 65. Okay, now comes title block. This is the uh, construction of a cattle block. This part is 165. Okay. Sorry, 100, uh, 185. No, 185. So So this line, so this line is 185. Okay, so you can see from the bottom side, this is 25, 100. So first of all, you have to divide this this block, this block into two parts. First one is 130. You can see from the left side, this part is 130. This is the 130. Okay, then after 45, 45 means you have to draw 20, 25, and then 20. Okay, so uh, this 
is 20, 25, and then 10. Okay. So first of all, you have to write down your uh, your institute name that is uh, as a engineering college. You have to write your title of drawing. Title, title, title of drawing means your title means suppose first writing. Uh, uh, for first shift, the title is suppose lines, uh, lines, letter, and scale. Okay. Suppose the second date, uh, the second shift, the title of the, uh, the title of the drawing is uh, the, the geometrical construction and curve. Similarly, in the third uh, third drawing, suppose for, uh, for a uh, prediction of a point or a point and lines. Okay. Then after you see the drawing number either this is the first seat or second seat or uh, third seat okay so drawing number one two three okay then after the scale at uh, scale in a scale section uh, we have to write either one is to one or one is to two so there are ways you have to like a one is to two or one is to ten or one is to hundred okay so generally uh, the scale is Okay, so it's clear. Here, like you have to draw, see. Uh, okay, so you have to write the name of the institution, like yes, of the college and the skin and symbol C. For first seat, it, it is not necessary. First, the symbol because the symbol means either see the first angle projection or third angle projection. So you have to draw the symbol of either first angle projection or third angle projection. So what is the difference? What is the basic difference between first angle projection and third angle projection it means? If your point be or if you, if the object is placed in first coordinate, okay, first coordinate, and when you will see the front view and the top view, then the projection of that type of uh, is called first angle projection. And if the object is placed in third coordinate, then the symbol will be different. And that type of symbol is called third angle projection. What the projection is called third angle projection. So am I am I audible? Yes, sir. No? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So you have to draw. Uh, yeah. The next one is uh, this part. This part is divided into uh, first one. Is take the ten centimeter, ten millimeter from ten millimeter from the top surface. Then. Then again, seven uh, millimeters, then seven mm. Then again, seven means five part into seven. First part, second part, third part, fourth part, and fifth part. So, so seven into five, thirty-five plus ten, forty-five and forty-five, and uh, then the bottom side is twenty. Okay, so to total is sixty-five, and. Uh, this the lower part, lower part is 20 m, 20 m is divided into two parts. First part is 25 m, other part is 25 m. For uh, in, in this section, you have to write the title of the drawing or name of the title or title blocks. The uh, second one uh, in this scale, you have to write the scale either 1 is 2 1 or 2 is 2 1 or 1 is 2. Okay, then you have to write the symbol either first angle yeah. projection or third angle projection. Okay, then. In this section, you have to uh, your uh, drawn back with your name with a date, uh, then uh, after the class, 
class and all the month, then uh, keep completed date. Okay, so it may be vary from your uh, year class to class. Suppose F1 bed will follow this type of uh, title block, and then uh, or uh, the F2 badge or F3 bed will follow the other type of block. It depends upon the because all the title block are correct. ऐसा नहीं कि सर कोई भी टाइटल ब्लॉक आपका रॉन्ग है बट वेन यू विल फॉलो दर्स्ट इन वन टाइप ऑफ टाइटल ब्लॉक फर्स्ट सीट देन देन यू विल फॉलो द सेम टाइटल ब्लॉक फॉर ईच एंड एवरी ईच एंड एवरी सीट फॉर फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर क्लास ओके So all the title block, the, this line, this the, the title block line. This is the uh, block. Uh, this is the uh, continuous stick line. So you have to draw this line with the help of either one is uh, one is pencil or two pencil. Okay. So you have to write only name and the roll number. Name and roll number with the help of pen. Otherwise, everything you have to write with the help of pencil. And you, uh, and only you have to write twenty five. Hundred five, fifty five, twenty. Yes. Only you have to write this one. You, have, you did not write like fifty five mm or hundred five mm. Okay, because uh, the bottom side, uh, the near the border line, near the uh, bottom border line, you have to write all dimensions are in mm. It means that whatever uh, digit you have taken on your drawing. That digit will be in the form of mm only. Okay, this means that you have to use pen to use only. You have to use pen with the help of pencil. Okay, so uh, so for a first pattern, like a, a lines, electric and scale, various types of lines. So you have to write the various type of line, the symbol, the images. Okay, similarly. Um, Uh, then literally means you have to write, you have to draw alpha, al alphabetical from A to Z and digit from zero to nine. Okay. And as well as in this sheet, you have to write scale. Uh, you have to uh, write scale. Scale means there are various types of scale, like plane scale, diagonal scale. Okay. So uh, I think. Uh, It is not possible to start the scale because there are various types of scale. Like you can see, just uh, in this diagram, sir. For a scale, you have to. Yeah. Is it visible? Is it visible to all? Plane scale. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plane scale. I have shared my screen for plane scale. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Your voice is uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can see just uh, this is a production of plain scale. There are various types of scale. If you have to draw a scale, and with the help of this type of scale, you can uh, you can you can measure up to a particular length. Okay. Suppose you have to make, see. You can see in this diagram. This is a five meter scale. Okay. So five meter scale, uh, the drawing of a five meter scale on your uh, drawing sheet is not possible directly. So with the help of some parameter, you can make a scale or you can form a scale. So this X scale is a five meter scale, and with the help of this five meter scale, you have to write either from four meter and six decimeter from this part, from this line to this line is a four meter and six decimeter. So with the help of you can uh, you can uh, measure. Okay. So there there are some methods like a first one type of scale. There are various types of scale like a plane scale, diagonal scale, vertical uh, vernier scale, and comparative scale and scale of four. But in your uh, syllabus, almost only three. There are three scale like a plane scale, diagonal scale, and vernier scale. Okay. So. Uh, Next class, I shall discuss the plan is what is the use of plan scale and how to how to draw a plan scale. Suppose, suppose tell me, uh, see the example of the plan scale. Means uh, uh, we have to draw a uh, we have to draw a five meter scale 
the help of that 5 meter scale we have to measure 4.3 meters okay so how to convert or how to um, uh, what, what is the uh, parameters which parameter is used for the this type of scale that parameter is called representative factor okay that is called the representative factor okay so what is uh, uh, see then you will there are two types either you will uh, uh, the scale is used uh, scale is used for either enlarging or reducing suppose you have to draw five meter length on your drawing sheet so with the help of reducing scale you can draw similarly when you will draw when you will make a, a scale uh, of a, a five millimeter so it, it, is it possible to five millimeter scale banana sakte obviously it is not possible so with the help of some uh, some enlarging so with the help of enlarging scale means five millimeter uh, uh, five millimeter is it's equivalent to uh, suppose 100 millimeter or 200 millimeter then after you can measure uh, something or something be a particular dimension of particular length with the help of that scale okay so wait one minute uh, so now you can uh, give the attendance okay so all the advice advice to give the attendance the dimensions of a chart paper is 550 to 70. Okay, all the requests to please give the attendance to that link. I have already shared the link. Today again I am sharing the that link. The link is same. Okay, wait one minute. With the help of I am already shared copy. Yeah. Please do not give the attendance in chat chat box. Hello, hello. Please do not give the attendance in chat box. Please do not give the attendance in chat chat box. I have shared. Form. So all the requested to fill up the Google form. Just write your roll, I think roll number and name and name. So all the requested to give the attendance to this Google form only. I have shared my uh, I have shared the uh, link for attendance and this link will be same for all the classes all the classes of all, all the classes of this class means uh, ESME 1, 2, uh, 2 and 1 only so uh, actually just in today class I have discussed the uh, the basic idea of the drawing, basic idea of drawing, as well as the, the concept of title block. Okay, then after I have uh, discussed the various types of line. Okay, from your so many students have given the attendance in chat box, so no need to give the attendance here. Do not give the attendance here. So I have, I because I have already. Uh, shared the uh, Google form and also request to save this Google form link. Uh, Google form, and the link will be same. Okay, so the lecture class of this uh, uh, ESM cover one class in every week. Okay, sir, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. Sir, roll number 24 is got disconnected, so we can't give attendance in chat box. What what? What happened? Sir, roll number 24 got disconnected, so... So now you can see the attendance, na? I am, I am again sending the link. You can give the attendance for okay, while. Sir, can again? No, no. If we have already given the attendance, please leave that. Otherwise, uh, uh, all the requests to be all the students are requested to keep the attendance only one time. Again, send the link. 
Indian Air Sea. Can we use chart paper instead of A1C because it's not? Um, I can't find that one A1C. Oh, A1C is not available in your side. In your side, na. Okay, okay. So uh, just check to be see your theory class. Okay. So the drawing class, uh, you can ask directly to your faculty. Okay. So this is the common class for uh, F1, F2, and F3. Okay. In this class, just I have. Um, I am uh, telling only the concept of the drawing, and you have to uh, draw and submit to your lab class. Okay, so you can ask directly to your concerned faculty uh, for F1 batch or F2 batch or F3 batch. Okay. Okay. If you have any doubt regarding the uh, this uh, drawing. Uh, Concept of concept of type of line or drawing them, you can ask. Okay, so next class I'll discuss the RS sector that is called representative sector, and with the help of representative representative sector, you can form in the length of scale. Means suppose you want to draw a five hundred meter length. So with the help of uh, this parameter, this RS sector, you can minimize or you can reduce the length of the scale. Okay, so that thing I will discuss in next class. Okay. Okay, if you have any doubt, you can ask. Five students have given. Fifty students have given the attendance. Okay. Okay, you can leave. Now you can leave. If you don't have any doubt. So we have to buy uh, uh, ED kits, uh, instrument. Mr. Rohit Yadav, tell me. Uh, yes, sir. We have to buy instrument for ED, sir. See, you have, see, you have two class. First one is the drawing lecture class and drawing lab class. Okay, this is the common for all F1, F2, F3. In this class, I said just only discuss the concept of drawing. Okay, and if you have any doubt in lab class, then I said discuss. In lab class, you have to draw uh, your. You have to draw it right. Uh, the various concept of. Uh, or various question on your drawing sheet, so you can be contact with your concerned faculty. Okay. This okay. Is the, yeah. This this is the con, uh, theoretical class for for any dot. If if you will have any dot, then you can ask. Otherwise, you have to do uh, drawing work on your that lab class. 